Welcome into this week's edition of the Climate Friday newsletter. Hope you had a happy 4th of July and a great week. Now you may have heard the saying when it rains, it pours. This is true of life and of the weather sometimes. And in the last week, we have seen our fair share of heavy downpours and also some thunderstorms. So in this week's Climate Friday, we're going to talk about the origins of these downpours and how climate change may be making heavy rain more common and also those downpours more intense and what you can expect in the weeks months and even years to come. Let's delve into the science here talking about when it rains, it pours and breaking down some of our recent heavy rainfall and also how climate change may be exacerbating heavy rain. Now the heaviest of the rain did not impact the Toledo Metro. In fact, Toledo Express Airport really got the short end of the stick, so to speak. Only about half an inch of rain throughout the entire weekend and it's hard to believe with all that heat and humidity, only that much rain fell in Toledo. Now some spots got much, much much heavier downpours. I want to show you rainfall reports over the course of the weekend leading up to the 4th of July. The purple colors you see on this map, those are the heaviest rainfall totals. You notice far eastern Lucas County, northern Ottawa County got drenched. Also to the west of Toledo, parts of southern Fulton County, northern Henry County, and Defiance County got the brunt of some of those heavy downpours. Let's look at the Toledo Metro. The rainfall was highly variable on where you live, and some of the heaviest rain impacted areas closer to Lake Erie, shown by that bright purple color. However, folks on the western tier of Lucas County didn't see nearly as much rainfall. Here's a closer look at the Toledo Metro and how much rain fell over the course of the weekend. Folks near Wallbridge and Perrysburg saw nearly three inches of rainfall, incredibly torrential rain as a result of some of those downpours and thunderstorms. Also to the north of Clay Center and east of Oregon, radar is indicating, get this, up to four and a half inches of rainfall shown by some of those torrential downpours and we had some severe weather over the weekend in this spot. And in fact, there was a tornado warning that produced not only some rotation, but also some very, very heavy rain. What about the rest of the Toledo Metro? Still something to write home about. South of Ottawa Hills picked up nearly 2.4 inches of rainfall and up near Sylvania, rainfall amounts were closer to one inch. What about some of our western counties? Between Wauseon and Napoleon, very, very heavy rain impacted. Now the one takeaway point from this map is when it rains, it pours. We got some very heavy rain, but also some folks didn't see quite as much. Here's how much heavy rain fell to the north of Liberty Center and north of Napoleon three to four inches as determined by radar and looking a bit further to the west. We also got some very heavy rain in portions of Putnam County, two and a half inches, Hillsdale County around two inches and even portions of Seneca County got up to three inches of rain. There was one downpour just to the northwest of the city of Tiffin. So how is climate change making these heavy downpours worse, more common and more intense? Well, we're seeing warmer temperatures is no secret by now. Our temperatures are warming during all 12 months out of the year, especially during the rainy season. We're seeing heavier downpours because that provides fuel and more evaporation. In other words, there's more water in the clouds and more moisture to work with. Not only are we seeing the hotter temperatures, but also the oceans and lakes are getting warmer and that could potentially have a local impact on us as as Lake Erie surface temperature continue to rise and that may provide more evaporation and thus fuel for rain. Of course, with those hotter temperatures, more moisture comes in off the bodies of water and more moisture is leached from the soil up into the clouds. And when there's more water in the clouds, there's more water that gets rained on us and that can cause more of a flooding concern. So how has rainfall changed due to climate change? Some studies have looked at rainfall since the 1970s at a number of big metropolitan cities across the country. 90% of cities studied saw an increase in rain. That means the vast majority seeing this trend that climate change has confirmed. What about some local and Midwestern cities? Since the 1950s, one study looked at some cities, including Cincinnati and Columbus, each of which saw a vast increase in rainfall. Detroit and Toledo, yes, the rainfall did increase by about 44 and 50% respectively, but that pales in comparison to Cincinnati that saw a 137% increase increase in rainfall. Again, that data goes back to the 1950s. Again, the mechanism for this as temperature increases, we're seeing more available water and it's not necessarily
necessarily just a linear relationship, but you'll notice that line shoots up at an exponential rate. More evaporation leads to more precipitation, and for every one degree increase in temperature, there is a 4% increase in available water. So as the Earth's surface continues to warm up due to climate change, the amount of moisture is going to increase at an exponential rate, and that is a trend in our rainfall, not only in terms of total rainfall, but rainfall rate. Remember, when it rains, it pours. Rainfall rate is a measure of how much rain falls in a certain period of time. In this particular graphic, the unit is hundredths of an inch, and we are seeing rainfall rates that are vastly greater than they were back in 1970. That upward trend on the green line shows you rainfall rates that are increasing. Not only are we seeing more total rain, but when it does rain, it's coming down heavier, and that is a trend that has likely impacted you here in the Midwest and has an especially impact on farmers and gardeners who can see more flooding as a result of those rainfall rates. Downpours are increasing, and this is especially noticeable across the Midwest. More downpours across the Great Lakes and the Midwest over towards the Mid-Atlantic region. In the southeast, the rainfall has increased as well, and in the desert southwest, there's been a very, very slight increase in rainfall, but the impacts of climate change are not necessarily ubiquitous as the Great Lakes has seen the brunt of that increase in precipitation. Now, even with those downpours, we're seeing more extremes and fluctuations due to climate change and much of the region still under drought conditions. Folks out west, including portions of northwest Indiana and Illinois, really under severe drought right now, and that has impacted Midwestern farmers this season. <clears throat> what about us here at home? Moderate drought conditions prevail. The latest drought monitor is updated each and every week, so we'll continue to update you with the latest data on WTOL 11. But the overall trend is areas southeast haven't seen quite as bad of a drought, but areas right along I-75 and closer to that Indiana Ohio state line, there is a moderate drought in effect. Now far northwest of us clipping Hillsdale and Williams counties, this is what we call a severe drought that goes in towards the Indiana Michigan state line, and that is where rainfall was desperately needed. Now we did get some rainfall this week. The latest drought outlook will be telling to see how those downpours were helpful, but certainly flood concern is one thing that is going up as a result of climate change. Remember, when it rains, it pours, and we're seeing not only an increase in overall rainfall, but also those rainfall rates increasing exponentially. Whatever Mother Nature has in store for the rest of the summer season, the WTOL 11 weather team will keep you updated. Subscribe at WTOL.com slash email, and you can see the latest Climate Friday on YouTube, WTOL 11 Plus, and online.